happy Monday. Are our actions, right? The love and service. When in doubt, I'm of love and service. If that is my, my, my backup plan always, like I go somewhere and I don't know what I'm going to do and I'm confused and I'm angry and I whatever, have expectation and I just default to those actions. I can't go wrong. Take my ego out of it and I am of love and service. And I will build, my character will build as a person of love and service. We are our actions. We are our actions. And we can act our way into better people. doesn't matter if I don't necessarily, if my act, if, if my love and service is not congruent with necessarily what I'm feeling, I can still be of love and service. And it's been my experience that my, my mind and my feelings will shift when I'm of love and service. It lets, you know, it's kind of like, let's gratitude do its work. And, and I become, you know, happier, easier to be around. And, um, and I can't forget that. Because service isn't always convenient. I'm not excited always about being of service. But when I start to be of service, my attitude changes. I become more peaceful and more grateful and more happy. And I don't, I, I, selfless. I don't know if I can explain why, but it happens. And it's a beautiful miracle of being of service. So, how are you being of service? And it doesn't have, you, if you're being of service to the soup kitchen or to your friend or your lover or whomever, it's just, how is that possible? And what are our actions? You know, do we follow through with our word? I, like, those are things that money can't buy. Surrounding myself with people that match that is the true gift of the community that I seek to build. And that does not mean that I am perfect or the people around me are always perfect because we're human. We're perfectly flawed human beings pointed in good orderly direction. Open your heart. We are so much more similar than we are not alike. And that's the good news and maybe the bad news because we're not that unique. And that's amazing and tragic. And that's the riddle of humanity. The, you, we're not that different. And to acknowledge that, that I'm not that different than some bigot, that we are of the same makeup and it's just about fear that separates us, mine or, or theirs, maybe that's the scary part. Anyway, much love. Have a fantastic day.